So it is semi-final day. Business end in the ultimate show of the summer, which has gone on for a good part of a month already. But it is safe to say we are on the home straight. 24 teams began it, 20 have bid farewell. And now we are down to the last four, hoping for those two dream tickets to the final. I really don't think we could have hoped for much more in terms of atmosphere. Tremendous shows of friendship, which has been an overriding theme of these championships all over the continent, as fans have travelled from far and wide to be here. It is the penultimate page in the story of Euro 2020. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. Well, that has got the juices flowing. And now this. So we are nearly there, just this small matter of the semi-final to get through. This competition has been a superb advert for football, Peter, up to this stage. And it will continue like that with all the talking points focusing on the positive side of things, I'm happy to say. Credit has to be afforded to the way in which everything was coordinated, despite games being spread across so many different nations. In essence, none of the camaraderie associated with the tournament has been lost. I'm pretty sure that this game will back that up. So we're up and running. Means it over to the other flank Walker it's the through ball Jota over to the left and helps available out wide can get that clear Foden and the counter-attack is on for England. Sterling goes looking. Kane is flagged offside. Renato Sanchez with a long pass. And he's there to cut it out. Hoists it forward. Foden. And it's played forward. Looking to break out here. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and his team. Sterling. Sterling plays it in. Guerrero gets rid without sophistication. Rice tries lifting it over. Sterling. Up for the header! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with.
Pepe gets it away. And it's Mings. And here's Sterling. Sterling. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. England could not have hoped for a better opportunity. A lot of furious gesticulation, but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? just never going to miss and he smashed it right down the middle it was just as well the keeper didn't hold his position significant contest Ruben Diaz Jota Ronaldo provides an outlet Sterling he's found his man oh he's in goes for goal I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass that's what happens So that's two now without reply. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Bernardo Silva. And it's Xiaomutinho. Hoists it high. And it's corner. may or may not have made a difference little matter it is his <laughs> this is threatening to become a really good game well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Walker conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Walker. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Ruben Diaz tries to get it forward quickly. He spotted the run and played him through. Chris Cristiano Ronaldo! There's a goal! Portugal a level! Mm. Oh, 
beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. We have ourselves a real game here. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Shaw. He's picked him out. He's left his man. Can he deliver? Oh, good ball. Kane throws it backwards, and they'll try again. And the ball's come loose! Got offside that time. Pickford sends that a long way, and it's Shaw. He gets past his man. Sterling. Sterling plays it in, and that's been repelled. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Phillips. Delivery from Walker. To Finn. And the semi-final reaches halfway. And it has been a pretty crazy game so far. The game played out in extraordinary fashion at the scoreline and the line fight. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. What a good half. They've gone blow for blow, and it's 2-2. Two -two. And so we're off again. Danilo Pereira. Renato Sanchez. Come back to the keeper. Mings. Shaw. England can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Jao Moutinho takes the long option. Well read, he sorted that out. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. And the counter is on. That's great strength on the ball. Still hits one! Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper because that was fantastic. Portugal are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. And yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Sure. England getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Rice spreads it towards the left. Floats one over.
Guerrero tries to switch the play. Played into space out wide. Rice. Forward it goes. Nelson Semedo. Bernardo Silva. Now it's Moutinho. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Danger averted for now. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Foden is being withdrawn here, but he certainly made his mark. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue. Portugal are leaving men forward, threatening to break. Well, if they're not putting the work in by getting back, they have to deliver with this tactic. Well waited. It's a good Sterling! Goal! England! Into the lead once more. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Changes here from both sides, in fact. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Bruno Fernandes. Jota looking to run onto it. Jota. Looking for a decent ball in. Oh, that's nice. Bruno Fernandes shapes the shoot. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. can get it clear Gonzalo Quinez he's gone for it so close to drawing level oh, that's a great response though and it's a statement declaring that they're not done with this yet rid of that Portugal are definitely not going down without a scrap their attitude just can't be faulted Kane looking to get on the end of this he's got away and the defense can get it clear so time for changes on both sides actually Here's Sterling, and it's Henderson. Oh, rip, he's gone for it! Cleared away. Henderson, Sterling. That intervention was very necessary. 
England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And it's got through. Gonzalo Guedes. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves... Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And it's Kane. England just have to run down the clock. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, good interception. Maguire drives it forward. Dinks one in. Kane has a goal! It's in! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Oh, you've got to love that. Concentration, conviction, contact and sheer class. Two up and very little time left, surely. And time is up. England have done it. Into the final and they can taste glory now. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, they've grown in stature and confidence with every step and one big step away from the trophy now.